What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be using an all-time favorite Pokemon of mine on the Regulation D ladder. We got you guys a nice little Tyranitar team for you guys today. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I seriously do not know what you're doing here. This is probably not your first time watching my videos, so definitely consider subscribing to stay up to date on all of my content. But the first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Heatran. Heatran is one of those Pokemon in Regulation D where you can't really go wrong with it. Its stats are nice, its typing is nice, it's absolutely amazing all around. This one has Flash Fire, the leftovers has this item. Obviously, it's Rock and the Grass Terra type because that is the best Terra type for this pokemon then it's got heat wave and protect substitute and earth power for its four moves like i said heat is really really solid cannot go wrong with that pokemon in the second slot we're going to be using rillaboom i've been using rillaboom a lot recently and he's been awesome he's been absolutely amazing with grass surge and assault vest he's got fake out wood hammer knock off and U turn love the move set and rillaboom is kind of just like heat where it's not meta but it is perfectly balanced and a great pokemon for the online ladder in our third slot is the best support Pokemon in the game at the moment. It is Tornadus with Prankster and the Rocky Helmet as its item. That's a little weird to see, but hey, we're going to try it out on the rank ladder today. It's got Tailwind, it has Sunny Day, it's got Bleak Wind Storm, and it has Rain Dance. So plenty of weather control with this team today. We got Sandstream, we got Sun, we got Rain Dance. We can pretty much control it at our will. In our fourth slot, we got Fluttermane. So Fluttermane is going to pair up with the Sunny Day. It's going to proc its Protosynthesis, but it also has Choice Specs as item to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. It's got Moonblast, it's got Dazzle Gleam, it's got Shadow Ball and Mystical Fire. In our fifth slot is Tyranitar, the start of the show, first time using it in Regulation D, so hopefully he gets some work done. He has Sandstream as its ability, Citrus Berry as its item, got Rock Slide, Terra Blast, Protect, and Assurance for its four moves. In our final slot is the strongest Regulation D Pokemon out right now. It is Urshifu, well I should say the Water Urshifu. This one has Unseen Fist, Chewy Scarf has Item, Close Combat, Surgeon Strikes, Aqua Jet, and U-Turn. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, let's grab some wins with this Tyranitar Regulation D team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against an Urshifu team alongside with Chiyu, Fluttermane, Tornadus, Landorus, and Amoonga. So a lot of strong Pokemon that we're going to have to watch out for. Definitely going to be a good match, hopefully end up on top. But uh, who should I lead, and how should I go into it? Considering I think Urshifu, Chiyu, and Fluttermane are going to be their main core, their main attackers to kind of clean me up. So I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, I, got, I think I definitely have to bring in Fluttermane and my Urshifu. I think both of them are going to be good, but I don't think I'm going to lead them. I think I had to lead a Pokemon like Tornadus just for some nice speed control. Try to get after the match that way. I do like that. So I am going to go in with you. And I also might lead Heatran. I really like Heatran up against all these Pokemon besides Urshifu, right? And Lando. But I have a great Terra type for that. So I might just go into these two. I really like it. So I'm going to end up leading these guys. And I'm going to bring Urshifu and Fluttermane in the back end. Make life easy for me. Look for a win here in match number one. I do want to use Tyranitar really, really bad, but like I said, we're looking for a win here in match number one. Match number one is always about going for a victory on the channel here. Second match is always about using the Pokemon a little bit, and a third and final match is usually just like, screw it. We're having fun here. Let's do whatever we want. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We're all about business in match number one here. So let's, let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Chiyu alongside with Kronos. And I really like my lead. I love my lead, actually. I think it's a solid lead. I mean, I could go into Tailwind here. I could go into Heat Waves. I could go into Sunny Days for my, uh, for my, what's it called? It could be good. I'm actually just going to go into an Earth Power here. I want to do as much damage as I can overall on the Chiyu. I don't think Chiyu's Terrasalize, and I think it's just staying typing. It might even swap here, but... We shall see. I don't want to tear it into grass. I think Heatran's typing is really, really solid right here. We're going to end up seeing a Tailwind from our opponent's side. I'm also going to match this Tailwind, but his Chiyu is still going to be faster than my Heatran. So Chiyu's going to go first. I wonder what's going for. Dark Pulse, maybe? I was going to try a Nasty Plot setup. So good thing I did not go into the Fire Move. Good thing I'm just straight up attacking this thing and trying to get after it. So Earth Power is going to fly here, chunking up some big time damage, and Heatran starting us off hot here with a critical hit. Yo, we take that crit. That's a big time crit. Heatran came to play. Like I said, match number one, all about business. We getting down to business. That's a big time KO. We took no damage. We matched Tailwind. We got rid of one of their top tier Pokemon with Chiyu. Now they're probably going to throw out a Pokemon like Fluttermane or Urshifu here, right? There's Urshifu. The Urshifu comes through here. Um, 
Yeah, I think we just terrestrialize now. I think we're forced to terrestrialize. But I'm gonna terrestrialize. I could go in with an Earth Power, or I could just go Heat Wave here. And I think I just Heat Wave. I'm doing some damage on the Tornadus, considering uh, my Tornadus can do a nice chunk of damage to their Earth Spill. But yeah, now it's just gonna be a great time to terrestrialize. Nice little terror type. Even though Bleak Wind Storm from our opponent could be tough. Maybe we should have just swapped, but you never know. We, do, we really don't want to be taking the Surgeon Strike from them, correct? Not really, right? Not really. So out comes our Terra. Icy Wind's going to fly here. It's going to slow me down a little bit. That's fine by me. And who are you going to take out? My Tornadus, maybe? You might just take out my Tornadus, which could be a little tough for us. Surgeon Strikes, yeah, into my Tornadus. And Tornadus, can you eat that? 82 HP? What are you at? And you got Rocky Helmet. That actually helps us out tremendously. You're gonna die, but still. Three hits for Rocky Helmet? I'll take that damage all day. Really can't go wrong with that damage. So that's some big time damage for us. Our Terra types and now. Really wish I would have stayed and kept my Terra. But Heat Wave is now gonna fly. And Heat Wave should do a nice chunk of damage on the both of these guys, right? Really good damage. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. We got some crits, yo. Heat Trans Land, the crits all day. Got leftover cooking. We are gonna get back some HP, and I feel as from here we just go for an Aqua Jet into Urshville. Makes the most sense. Even though Bleak Wind Storm is scary, a Bleak Wind Storm is terrifying. Do I just go into like Pokemon maybe like you? No, I think we just I think we just go into Urshville here, and if they Bleak Wind Storm, we should be able to soak. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. This is actually going to be a real close battle, but I'm going to Aqua Jet to try to get rid of you. And I'm just going to throw another Heat Wave across the board. I don't think that Tornadus can do enough damage to pick up a double KO by itself. But Aqua Jet's a perfect move. It's going to do enough damage to get rid of uh, Urshfu here. And on top of that, it's first turn priority, which is huge. And again, we know it's going for Bleak Wind Storm. We already know this is happening. This was a bad terror type. And now we just stick to Icy Wind. So we stick with Icy Wind, which I really don't mind. As long as we land a Heat Wave, we should be guaranteed a nice little victory here. The Urshfu's speed's gonna drop. Heatran's speed's dropping. Can he land a Heat Wave? I love you, Heatran. Yo, Heatran's killing it. Heatran's killing it right now. And it's so funny because in the beginning of the video, I was kind of thrown off by Tornadus' Rocky Helmet, but it actually came in really clutch. Like, if we did not have Rocky Helmet, that Aqua Jet would have never stood a chance to kill. It would have had a ton of, ton of HP. It took three shots to Rocky Helmet, which is just awesome. So out comes our Fluttermane as their final Pokemon. From here, now I'm just gonna go into I'm just gonna go into an Aqua Jet because we know that thing actually outspeeds me, and I'm just gonna stick with a uh, nice little Heat Wave here. He's gonna end up Terrasalizing. We're just Aqua Jetting just to do as much damage as we possibly can, and actually, we might lose this match. To be honest with you guys, we have a shot at losing this match. Because Dazzling Gleam might pick up the double KO. We had a bad terror with our Heatran. I think they read it all day, but Aqua Jet, we're doing that because we know we're dead to this Dazzling Gleam. The thing is, if Heatran dies to this Dazzling Gleam, we're in a tough spot. And it survived. And it survived. That actually gave us a huge chance at winning this match. So can we land a Sea Wave, please? Thank you, Heatran. Dude, Heatran's just on his game today. He trains on his game surviving that shot. And the reason I was saying we might lose this is because if I threw up my Fluttermane and they outsped me, they can hit me with a Shadow Ball and take me out, no problem. But hey, we take that victory. We're 1 0. Let's hop to our second match. Look to use Tyranitar in that one. Hot start for your boy Jeans in match number one. We're sitting 1 0. Definitely want to use Titar in this second match. We're going up against another Urshfu with Hisuian Arcanine and Lander. So, two Intimidate Pokemon really going to do my physical attackers real dirty. So, gotta watch out for that. I still feel as Urshfu is going to be great here, considering it crits with Surgeon Strikes. It's going to be super effective onto those two Intimidate Pokemon. So, I'm not really too worried about that. So, I like Urshfu here. I like Titar if it cannot get intimidated. And then on top of that, I think Heatran and maybe like. Fluttermane could be really good for us. So I think I'm going to lead. Because they're definitely leading an Intimidate Pokemon. Like 1000% they're leading some type of Intimidate. So I think Urshfu is going to be great. Again, I don't really worry about Intimidates with Urshfu. Considering I'm just going to crit through. So I'm going to go Urshfu here. And then I'm also going to lead... Huh. Hmm. Do I lead Tornadus or do I just lead Titar? I don't want to lead Titar. That's the thing. I do not want to lead Titar. 
I think it's either Heatran or Fluttermane. I know the four I want, I just do not know who I want to lead. I want Heatran, Fluttermane, Titar. But I don't know if I want to lead Heatran or Fluttermane. And I feel as in this situation, I think Heatran could be really, really solid. So I'm going to go Heatran here. I'm going to go Titar and Fluttermane as my back end two Pokemon. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here and guarantee yourselves a win your record. It's always good when you go back to back and match number one and match number two because then it just makes me not care about that third battle. I'll still record it for you guys, but we'll have more fun with it. I'm not worried about getting a win. But let's see who they end up leading. Let's see it. I am kind of scared of the double intimidate. I am. Can't, I, I can't lie. can't lie. But it always throws me off. I have random music on. And every now and then, every about 20 videos, it gives me this music. And it's just like very, there's no music in the beginning. So it throws me off. I'm like, yo, this is weird. This is weird. But he goes Arcanine. This thing does not have Intimidate. It does not have Intimidate. And I'm thinking... And I am thinking of... Do I Surgeon Strikes into that? Or do I Surgeon Strikes into Thunderous? I think I'm just going to Surgeon Strikes Thunderous down. And I'm just going to pop a nice little Earth Power into Arcanine. That's going to be my play. He did not Intimidate me. Cool with that. Wow, I could have led Titar. Titar would have been a real solid lead here. I would have loved Titar for the lead. I'm worried about the will o -Wisp. He is going to end up withdrawing Arcanine. Probably going into a Pokemon more like Serene over here. Yep. Sarina. Sarina. Is that how you pronounce it? I always have trouble pronouncing that. But he is going to rain dance up, which is really, really weird. Really weird. And he's going to rain dance while my boy's on the field. Because now I just do this, and I absolutely rip into you. So thanks for the rain. Thanks for setting up my Urshifu. I mean, I'll take it. It's fine by me. It's fine by me. You want to set up my Urshifu? That's fine. He's just going to kill every single Pokemon that touches you. So Earth Power is going to come out here. And if I want to change weather, I can just hard swap into Titar. But right now, I don't, I don't mind weather with Urshifu. I don't mind it. I'm curious to see who he's going to go into. He's going to end up throwing out Fluttermane. So Fluttermane, what was the point of rain? Was that a misclick? Or maybe it was to neglect like him thinking of going into like a heat wave? But speed's going to get boosted, and I feel as from here, oh, I'm choice. I'm choice, so I might outspeed. But no, probably not. I think definitely outspeed. I might hard swap into, say, I don't really want to go in Titar. I really don't want to go in Titar. I think I'm just going to go into Fluttermane of my own. This is tough now. I could change whether I might, I might forcefully change weather now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to forcefully change weather. I'm going to go into you. And I'm just going to pop Heat Wave across the board. As much as I don't want to change weather, Flutter means a little bit of an issue. So I'd rather have my Urshifu for later purposes. So I'm just going to change the weather up here. Even if Titar dies to this Dazzle Leaving that's about to come into me. Oh, it's a Shadow Ball. That's fine. That's fine, because now I'm going to be soaked. Makes me look like a genius. So now we got Titar out here. Trap Kick, of course, comes out here. And that slot. And he doubles down. I'm going to get attack drops. Oh, wow, dude. I'm just getting ripped here. Attack drops, all that good stuff. Coming into my T-Tar slot. Now I'm sitting here. Heat Wave is going to fly here. And no rain is stopping that damage. Serene, of course, lives on one. We burn it. And then we had Sandstorm damage. So we were thriving with that. That thing was dead regardless. So, oh, no. Never mind. Now it's got the HP recovery with Citrus Berry. So I could honestly just double protect here, which I'm thinking of doing, just to get rid of Serene. And chuck up some more damage on the Fluttermane. That might be my play. Definitely, right? Sounds really good. The Titar coming in here with the Sandstream KOs. So yeah, I'm just going to protect here. On top of that, just going to double protect. And we'll see what he wants to do from there. We shall see, because yo, Burn and Sandstorm just going to chip up. We know his final Pokemon, right? Didn't he swap it early on? was uh what was it what was it it wasn't fluttermane who was that pokemon i can't think of it oh it was arcanine it was arcanine and i still have my urge from the back end they still have terra i still have terra i like it i like it so titar out and about yo titar's design's so cool i absolutely love that thing that's gleam gonna come out here i could i could terra now if i want to could definitely terra i might just hard swap titar I might just let Titar go down here. I guess we're high jump kick, and that's actually going to KO him. That's what's so tough about high jump kick. 
if you miss or get protected on while using that, it does like half your HP, and it's just, oh my lord. It's just, it's just a heartbreaker when that happens, it really is. And now we're still chunking up some nice damage on the Flutter main. Getting that going, and is he trying at full HP? I think he might be. How can I now comes out of here? Um, I could Earth Power that. Could definitely Earth Power that, but I think I'm just gonna throw a Heat Wave. I think from here I go for Rock Slide and Heat Wave. The reason I want to go for Heat Wave is Ark and I could Terrasalize here. They still have their Terror type. And I think it might Terrasalize into Grass, if anything. And plus, Heat Wave will finish off Fluttermane. Once I get rid of Fluttermane, I know this match is on lock. So there's Terror. Show me Grass. Show me Grass. I'm popping Heat Wave. Show me Grass. Show me Grass. Come on, man. I'm too good at this game. Oh, it's fire. It's straight up fire. It's a straight up fire, boy. If we can land a rock side on, that'd be big, but I don't think Titar's survive. I think Gleam's coming across the board, right? Yep, there's Gleam, and our opponent just canceled the match. Cool. So we were winning that one regardless, but let's just see how this turn would have worked out here. Gleam would have taken out. Oh, we actually soaked that up. Titar soaks that up. Bulky boy. And there's two connection ends there? I don't know what happened. I don't know if I lost connection and he lost connection, but either way, we were winning this match. Is it going to play out here? No, I'm just getting a bunch of connection issues. This is wild. Can this turn play out? I'm trying to show you guys. He was going to go for a head smash, which he trained dodge. And then I was just popping this heat wave here. Getting rid of Fluttermane, no problem. And then Rockside was going to do some big time damage on the Arcanine. Let's see if Rockside was going to come out here. Nope, that's the game. Third and final match is here. We are 2-0. Got the use T-Tar there. Absolutely dominated. But a lot of connection issues in that last match. But you guys know I was winning that match. No problem whatsoever. I even showcased the turn. I was going to land that Rock Slide. Rock Slide was going to do some big time damage. And maybe even KO with Arcanine. But we, we had that win in the bag. In a bag that was in a bag. Come on, man. That's too easy. But we're going up against another Hisuian Arcanine team. Alongside with Thunderous. I should say Pranks or Thunderous. And then they got Iron Bundle, Dragonite, Brute Bonnet, and Fluttermane. Who am I leading here? I kind of want to lead the Tatar. Tatar. Titar. Tyranitar. The man. The myth. The legend. Look how sick he looks. I kind of want to lead him. I kind of want to lead him. But my only problem would be if they lead a Pokemon like Iron Bundle, which is a high chance. It definitely is a high chance. So I go into maybe like Rillaboom here. I feel as Rillaboom could be pretty solid. Nice little Rillaboom. We got Knockoff. We got Fake Out. I do dig that. I definitely do dig that. I kind of want to do that. We go T-Tar here with the lead. Like I said, yo, we're 2 0. We don't really care too much. I'm just gonna throw in these guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. 3 0. We, we're, we're here to have some fun. So I am gonna end up leading T-Tar, even though there was a few better options for a lead. Obviously, because T-Tar's not meta. We have Urshville. He's always better than T-Tar in every situation. Almost every situation, I should say. But yeah, we're looking to have some fun here. I'd like to grab you guys a perfect record. Would be nice to grab it. More importantly, it's just a solid match. They end up going Thunderous and Flutter Flutter. Um, that's fine with me. I mean, I just fake out the... Do I fake out the Thunder? I definitely want to Terrastalize my T-Tar here. I feel as like that's the best bet. Nice little Fairy Terra. Help us soak up some shots, and we'll go from there. Do I fake out, or do I think he has Cobra Cloak? There's a high chance he has Cobra Cloak, so I might just want to Wood Hammer this soon. Um, you know what? I am going to Wood Hammer that. I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna rock slide across the board. I'm all about it. I'm not going for the fake out. So he's gonna end up terrasalizing. I'm gonna end up terrasalizing as well. And that's probably Fluttermane, right? No, Thundo. Thundo's getting after it with Ghost. I'm not faking you out. That's a great tower type, though. Because I thought you had Cobra Cloak. But hey, if that works fine, we'll take that. But we're not faking him out. I'm, go I'm going for Wood Hammers. Wood Hammers in the terrain, trying to do as much damage as I can. Kind of sucks that he did switch typings. His rock size not super effective, but I do have knockoff, which can do some big time damage. Up to it. We'll see. We shall see what he wants to do here. He's gonna end up popping a sunny day. Things are getting sunny here. It's always sunny in Paldea. Special attacks boost it. Dazzling comes out here. Nice, lovely terror type from Jeans here. Woodhammer's coming in hot. Hotter than ever. Woo! Bring you down to your focus, Ash. Now, all I gotta do is land this rock side of Fluttermane. And we're cooking. Come on. My man, Pots of Pants. T-Tar getting things started off hot here. Getting things started off hot. 
Only if Thunderous did not Terror type. I kind of wish it was Curve Cloak at that point. But uh, he changes up weather. I have Fluttermane in the back end, so that kind of that kind of helps me out. And I feel as you bring out Brute Bonnet, correct? Considering you have Sun, you brought Brute Bonnet, it would come out of here. No, Iron B is coming out of here. Not the Iron B. We don't like the Iron B. Not one bit. And he's got Cork Drive. He ain't playing around. Iron B ain't playing around. I want to see uh, what stat would get boosted for Flutter. It would be your special attack. Wow, your special attack is insane. I might actually want to swap T-Tar here. I might actually want to swap T-Tar here. And you know, we're just going to do this. Actually, I'm going to stick with the Rock Slides. I wonder as much damage as it can to bu bundle. He's going to end up freeze drying me. Okay, on me, correct? Oh no, my boy soaks, yo. Real Boom eats. And Thunderbolt's going to come in this slot. That's cool. No paralysis. We love it. Citrus Berry coming out here, yo. I actually like where we're sitting. I could have wood hammered into Iron Bundle, which probably should have been my play, but. Going for the knockoff. Knockoff and Rock Slide. If I can land the Rock Slide, we're thriving. We knocked off the Citrus Berry as well. So, Rock Slide, gotta pick up the KO on the Thunderous, do some big time damage on the Iron Bundle. We like that. We like that. So, now I'm thinking of Swamp with Tito, because I don't know if I want weather. I want weather? I don't know. Not too sure. I wish I had first time priority here. Let's just see who his final Pokemon is. Who is your final Pokemon? It's gonna be Brute Bonnet. Okay. Hmm. We'll try to U-turn if we can. I'm going to U-turn Rock Slide. Icy Wind's going to come out here. Real Boom dies to that. And Kitar, can you eat up the shot? I hope you can just eat up the shot and clutch up this match. Because if I get rid of Iron Bundle, this is... It's wraps. I'm always scared of the Iron Bundle. Sea Bomb coming out. You should be able to soak that. You do not. Uh, I forgot about Pro Synthesis. But even though I think it's defensive boost, he's just hitting hard. He's just hitting hard with Sea Bomb. Stab, 80 base damage. Oh, and in the terrain. Yeah. So now we got a match on our hands. So this is where things get a little weird. I have no Terra. He can freeze dry KO my Urshifu. though. Um, I know Brute Bonnet has Sucker Punch on it as well. And I can't protect my Urshifu. It's just tough news for me. It really is. I get my special attack heightened. I am going to choice into a Dazzling Beam. Best bet. They can't Terra though. I'm going to do that, and on top of that, I'm going to choice to a close combat. And I'm going to throw it into Iron Bundle slot. Just in case it protects, you never know. Sucker Punch flies from... Oh. Ho, ho. I did a bit too much damage. Can we KO here? I'm, my, my special attacks do the roof right now. I think we can pick up a double KO. We do. Okay, cool. So that one did come down to wire. Good thing I had choice specs. Protosynthesis was boosted, plus my EVs were fully maxed out in special attack. Fluttermane was hitting like an absolute truck there. So GG's 3-0, perfect record with this Tyranitar team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rocked out with Tyranitar on the regulation D ladder and did absolutely amazing. Three matches, three victories, a perfect record for you guys. Absolutely love the scene. You got some really, really good Pokemon like Heatran, Rollboom, Fluttermane, Urshfu, and Tornadus, who are mainly all regulation D Pokemon. But then you got the boy Tyranitar. It was a little off meta-ish nowadays, but it could still rock out and get the work done. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.